Hello and welcome to another board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Body of Evidence Best Serve Cold by the Mysterious Package Company. This is a game that plays one or more players, takes roughly about two to three hours to play, and is for ages, I would say probably 14 or 15 and up, because this is a murder mystery game. You are going to be deducing who in fact may have caused the death of a prominent chef. Christian Leclerc was found dead in a a uh, kitchen, like, refrigerator unit, and uh, you're actually going to be doing an autopsy in this game as well. Uh, basically what has happened is they called in an accident at the restaurant, they found this guy uh, unconscious or possibly even dead at the time, bleeding, and when the coroner got back and etc etc they found out it was likely to be a accident. However, now the case is in your hands, and people are starting to speak up and say that this might not have been an accident at all. And you are given by Susan Clifford, uh, the p chief police commissioner, uh, a bunch of evidence, different files that are going to help you lead to whether or not this in fact was an accident. You're trying to figure out was the per this person murdered, was Christian murdered, or was there someone who did it, and why, were the reasons, what they use, and all that good stuff. And they give you a ton of different pieces of evidence, and you solve it portion by portion up until you lead to your final report. And if you can answer all these questions correctly, I'll check inside here and see how well you did. Yes, a murder mystery game, but of course with a twist involving different types of autopsies and examinations and puzzles and clues and hints and all that good stuff. We'll get into how to set the game up, then of course how to play, and finally, what did I think about Body of Evidence Best Served Cold. So this is a murder mystery game, and like most murder mystery games, you're going to start with the instruction booklet. They're gonna give you an instruction booklet explaining how this one kind of plays out, and like most of them, you're going to learn how to play kind of as you play the game. But there is this little piece of information to start with. It's an instruction booklet that comes with some toe tags. And it goes through how you begin and how you conduct your investigation and how you perform your autopsy and whatnot. And after you go through this, you're going to be given all these folders. There are three different file folders and you're gonna start with number one. You won't need any of the other files, so you can actually go ahead and take these and set them aside, as well as the evidence card and your little chief police commissioner badge, as well as, of course, your final report, which you won't use until later. But you will keep your pen, you will keep your notebook, and, of course, the cadaver, as well as the body bag. You can set these guys aside for now, and you're basically just going to open up this file folder. And you're going to go through it and check to see what's actually inside. And there's going to be newspaper clippings and police reports and timelines and all kinds of good stuff. And at the end of it, you're going to find what you need to answer. And this one specifically, it'll be like, hey, which two evidence cards reveals details about Christian Leclerc's possible assailant or assailants? And so you're going to go through this whole thing. And after you have found enough information, as well as, of course, using the cadaver in whatever rate reasonable ways you see fit, and there's also a cadaver handbook, uh, you are going to take out cards from this little evidence booklet here, this little evidence uh, deck, and you'll pull out the ones that you need and see if they are a match. And if they are, you can then move on to the next file folder in which you'll solve that one and so on and so forth up until the big finale where you put everything together and then you determine who, where, what, why, when, and all that good stuff and then see how well you did. It's a pretty fairly straightforward and simple game. Do remember that you will be using your pencil to write in your notebook, as well as there's going to be a timeline of given events, which you will need to keep track of what happened and when to fully understand not only the story, but how to solve the case, because there's kind of a questionnaire you'll have to fill out to kind of explain your reasoning for why and what happened. It's not enough to just know. You have to kind of give that evidence as well. And if you're able to solve it, you win the game. Otherwise, I guess you've solved it as best as you possibly can, and the game is going to be over either way. And that was basically the setup and uh, explanation of gameplay. I'll just get into the review now because it kind of ties in with how the game plays anyway. This is one of those murder mystery games. It's one of those things where once you've played one of them, you kind of have an idea of how they go. But if you haven't, I'll give you a little rundown. Basically, in this game, like many others, you're going to be greeted with a bunch of paperwork, like this one here might be the office of, an, of, of the internal like memo, the, the police department, and it'll give you an explanation of certain things. There's a corner handbook that will be like, hey, you have the body with you. You should check to see what cuts, scratches, and lacerations are on the body. And based on that, what was the likely weight of the person that was able to, you know, do that specific uh, 
type of scratch or whatever. And oh look, on the back here it talks about uh, internal bruising and contusions and abrasions and whatnot and it has a color sheet and that tells you kind of what the height of the person is that was able to commit those types of bruising marks. And you can check on the body different places like this headpiece here. Uh, the colors and etc cetera, etc cetera, and that will give you more and more information. Don't forget to start writing things down because there's going to be pieces of newspaper clippings as well. So for, for instance you might get something that talks about a commuter chaos on the freeway which causes a van and a truck to hit each other or Leclerc's last meal talking about the prominent chef and giving you information in regards to like his mm, certain things that do about the case and you're gonna get all kinds of stuff you'll get just a portrait of what the, the, the character looks like like and that will pop up throughout the game as well as other different characters in the game uh, what was on the body at the scene of the crime uh, the different pieces of data regarding the specific uh, person who passed away a timeline that you're going to be utilizing and you can mark down in the different not only dates but times of the events that occurred because everything kind of took place in a small timeline pictures of what was on the body the location of where the body was and uh, the timeline of the event and data of oh, who called in the police report, what they said, et cetera, et cetera. And so each of these folders are gonna give you that unique, those unique pieces of information to help you solve the question at the end. But don't discount all the other evidence. In fact, you're gonna be utilizing this evidence throughout the game and of course for your final report as well because you need to piece the whole story together. Uh, the, the Basically the cards here you're going to be pulling out and it'll be like, oh, I think the person was six feet tall and it was a person that weighed 150 pounds or whatever. And so you'd pull them out and you'd check to see and there's little like little strings with the little like pins in them to determine if you completed the, <laughs> the, the qu your quest or not to move on. But there's a lot of data that's kind of still not represented in these cards and this question. And it all does lead back to the very end where you have to put together the entire history of the events and solve it as best as you can. It's, it's not enough to just understand who did it and why, but you have to kind of give a full detailed analysis of the case. And you're only going to be able to do that while looking at all the evidence. And it's all prepared, prepared out there for you. There's no tricks or like confusions in that. It's, it's all laid out so you understand how you need to do it, but it's about piecing the crime together and utilizing what you know to give the best and accurate analysis. Um, this is a fun little game. I, 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 what I really, really liked about this game is it ties in all those murder mystery games that you might know and love, and it adds a little bit of a unique twist to it. Now you actually have the body of the victim, and you can actually play as a um, coroner who now has to determine the, the reason for the death. You'll look at like things like abrasions or like bruises, scratches, uh, locations where the victim might have perished, uh, like the main incident. And then you can check inside uh, the, the victim and uh, get a little glimpse of what might be lurking there within. And that might help determine what was the cause of death. It kind of shows a little glimpse into what it's like to have to deal with bodies and understand like that there are unique uh, applications to help the coroners determine cause of death and like the, the, the means and, and even maybe even who or their weight. You can, you can get a lot of information from a body. So this kind of puts all that together. Uh, at first, I wasn't sure what to expect with the game. We played a live stream on this game and just went through the first folder, and there's a lot of information that we didn't utilize. We just actually needed uh, a few pieces of information to solve the puzzle. But it all did, and I was hoping it wouldn't, it all did come back and tie in at the end. And the game is actually quite challenging and unique and twists and turns all throughout the game. And I didn't want to, so I don't want to spoil too much about it, but the idea is the chef has died in the refrigeration unit. There was a bunch of people at the restaurant that all tie in in some way. Um, not necessarily like murder, they were into express type of way, but like they, they're all part of the scene that you kind of have to construct based on what you have and how the body is. And... It has a great story, a unique twist or twists as well in the game. And it all plays out with the body, which is like the main focus of the game. And I, I think it does a really great job of that aspect of highlighting that aspect of the game. 
If you like murder mysteries, if you like solving like detective style games and there's puzzles and all that kind of stuff, then you're going to enjoy this game. And if you've never played a game like this, which I haven't, where you actually utilize kind of a unique extra skill set of learning about how bodies function and like all that kind of stuff, then you're gonna dig Best Serve Cold. This was a really, really fun game. I'd be more than happy. I'm, I'm sure that Body of Evidence is gonna make another, or you know, Mysterious Packaging Company is gonna make another one of a Body of Evidence that we called something else. And I would, easily like to check out those games as well. Um, but this one, yeah, this one was an A plus for me. If you love these type of games, then here's another cool one. There are a few negatives though. One is once you play the game out, that's pretty much it. Uh, the other thing is this is a one and done type game, like the exit games, where once you've done it, you're gonna be pulling things out of the cadaver, moving, you know, there's gonna be things that happen in the game that you cannot like undo really. Uh, I guess you could like, sort of get away with like taping and all that kind of stuff. But in general, it's a one and done, but the experience is well worth it. It's a lot of fun, but I just figured I'd mention those little details there um, for those of you who do not like one and done type adventures. This is one of those basically, but otherwise a really solid, fun mystery slash detective type game with a unique little body of evidence attached to it. Well, there you go, guys. This is a body of evidence, best served cold. If you're interested, there's a link down below in the description. The game's already funded and out. You can go ahead and purchase this game from there. And if you would like, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe and bell notification button. It greatly does help us out. We do greatly appreciate it. And um, you can go ahead and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. If you want, we have a live stream every Sunday, which we actually did play a portion of this game to give you an idea of what it's like. And that's a great way for you to check out the games first and see how we play them and see it would be good for your game group and in which case you can go oh that's a game that we would like or wouldn't like based on my preferences so check out those streams and of course whatnot is also 6 30 p.m pst but it's on wednesday instead of sunday and we play games we sell games we talk about board games there as well all right guys that's all i got for you this time and as always i look forward to delving into the body of evidence with you next time case closed <laughs>